So, there's an aftermarket motor. Predator. Aftermarket. So, none of this face really works. Just, uh, this is still hooked up. And this still cuts on the water pump after aftermarket install. Um, none of this other stuff works. The gauges do work, but this don't start the machine. This throttle isn't hooked up. Throttle comes from here now, aftermarket. You take the face of this off and then install this spacer deal. Some bolts right there. They hook into, I guess, like a flywheel. That goes to a cap pump. So we could take these bolts out. It'll lift that belt from this cap pump that comes around this front pulley. Now, we have to match the muffler back into this deal here. And then it's two belts back here on the original drive shaft on the back side. Hooked up to my blower. All right. Anybody wanting to know what happens when your carpet cleaning machine breaks down? So this is my main unit. This is my blower. This is my chemical pump. This is my water pump. This is my engine. My engine has went down. So I'm getting ready to loosen up my pump. Take this belt off. Unbolt these four bolts. Loosen up this blower so I can get these belts off. Undo the electrical right here on the solenoid starter. Pull this engine out. It's my fresh water tank. This is another water pump that leads to my actual pressure rise pump. It's my waste tank. Hose reel. Vacuum hose reel. Solution hose reel. CRB. All my chemicals and stuff on that wall and then kaboom brand new honda gx 690 i gotta take that off and put that spacer on the front of there and then change the bushings on the pulleys i have now to fit this because the eighth inch bigger that's what i'm working on it's my new muffler when I say new muffler, it's because if you look right there, I have a line coming up and it goes into the muffler. What I have to do, it's gonna change the height. So I gotta re-weld some stuff on this muffler to make it fit back. You know what? Let me show you guys. And we'll get back to some cleaning. Go, go. Maybe. <laughs> on this video. I'm taking this out and I have to refit this, but I'm a pipe fitter. So fitting this should be fairly simple. Right now, I've unbolted the floor of this blower. See, I could get some play in there. When I get that play in there, giving in on them belt lines. A little more play, I'll be taking that off. Then I'll do the same in the front. And this engine will be coming out. I'll try to get y'all some more video footage. Matter of fact, this won't be a cleaning video. This will be a video to help other cleaners with these type of problems. So it's Thanksgiving day. <laughs> the task is to get this off. This bushing and this pulley. So, I'm gonna take these bolts out. Where my finger is, there's another hole 
for jack boat holes. Take that boat out, put it in this hole, and it'll push this pulley off, and that should loosen this bushing to come off. Problem is, one inch shaft, inch and an eighth shaft. So I'm gonna have to find a bushing that goes over an inch and an eighth, but it's still small enough here to fit this same pulley, and I won't have to do much work. On the other side, <clears throat> once I take that guard off right there, got my fingers crossed that this spacer and everything will fit directly onto that fan wheel in there. So I'm hoping that's the same bolt pattern. Once I figure out this bushing part, we'll have an easy way in. Another deal, like I say, if the muffler doesn't match, I'll have to alter this, cut this, re-weld it, route it in. Um, got my blower loose. I've uh, been putting a screwdriver and wedging it around down there. Pump is loose. This was the hardest boat to get out. I don't know how I'm gonna get it back in, but we are. <clears throat> Happy Thanksgiving. Good show. Football player. He does. All right. Okay. All right. I'm got my video recording now. Okay. I can't talk about that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> the newest we're gonna get. Alright, 
it's late night. It's been some long days, but we still got to put a panel up here to lock in this um, heat bypass. This is actually, uh, I got another one coming in two days. So this panel will remain off, but this bypass is leaking by. No one on the way, uh, two days, motor in. No motor in. Uh, got the original shaft hooked to the blower. It's number four blower down there. And then this shaft. I made uh, hook to the cat pump down here. Uh, Honda GX six ninety. Original motor for this is a Kohler. I think this Honda's better. So all these are still voided. This is voided, this is voided. I'm running off of this back here. Very consistent too. Brand new valve, thousand psi valve, brand new part here. This hose was bust. We repaired the hose yesterday as well to get it back up and running today on this first day out. 
Brand new unit upgrade. Same Gulf Coast chemistry. Oh, yeah.